of shoes, just one shoe, that kind of stuff. And I'm going to see on my ticket on trial experiment, continuing from our 2007 uh, trial, whether they'll let the Bike Friday ticket in into the store. Let's see. Here we go. You leave it here? No, it ran here. Okay, sure. Thank you. I guess there's lots of dirty shoes coming in, so. <laughs> there it is, inside the Prada store. Now these boots are perfect for riding a bike. They are basically as tall as me. Look at that. They're as tall as me and wouldn't they keep the rain off your thighs? And they're only $1,500. This is the Prada store. job there. I but think they did an excellent job. I mean, they let you in all sweaty with your bike and everything. Well, not that sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you have to retain fabulous. a certain composure, you know, yeah. when you're on the bike. There. No, I think they did a great job. I mean, it's a high-end store and they gave you great customer service. They didn't treat you poorly. They, they let you walk right in. They provided you a place to put your bike. That's just exceptional. I don't think you'd find that at most places, especially not a Prada. I've got a friend who's a gazillionaire. I can't say who they are, but, um, Loves to wear t-shirts and surf shorts. Sounds like Bill Gates. Uh, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Actually, something like that. Yeah, but you know, they go into stores and people have no idea how much wealth they have. So, never judge a book by its cover. Uh. I, think, I think a lot of wealthy people actually dress down just for that reason. To see where they get really good service. Okay, so in Hawaii, mm. dress up or be Japanese, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Don't limit this to Hawaii because I love Hawaii. I think it's I think it's really weird no matter where you go. Be nice to people. You never know what they have because in their wallet. Because they enable you to be paid. Exactly. <laughs>